Hi, Chef Anthony here from Dawn's Appliances. Today, I'm gonna to go over a two ranges here, pretty much similar in um, size and feature and price, but one's electric, one's in gas. We're gonna go over, you know, four points and really see, you know, which one is best and you know, which one evens out. First and foremost, I mean, the first one I gotta talk about is installation, okay? From a, an electric to a gas, you know, electric would be easier to install. It's just a plug and play, whereas gas, you gotta worry about the fittings, you gotta worry about hooking the gas lines up correctly, you know, smaller things like that. There is, you know, the safety issue. Whereas, you know, if it's an electric range, things like that, just plug in, ready to go. So in our first category of installation, let's put a big check mark by electric because it wins in this category. Second we really want to touch on is performance, all right? So you know, you're going to see great heat, great cooking, and baking from all aspects of this, but when we talk about performing, we're going to like the gas a little bit better here because we can see the flame, customers you know, can really gauge their pot and pan better, and we get a hotter heat on the gas, whereas electric it might take a little bit longer to heat up on the cooktop surface. But when we talk about the performance of the lower ovens, we're both going to have convection in here, we're both going to have air fry, great features, but majority of consumers like cooking on electric ovens because they feel the heating is a little bit more even and the convection heats up faster. So, you know, gas is going to, you know, emit a little bit of odor because, you know, the gas oven's heating up and, you know, things like that. That is what some of the customers don't like. So, you know, in the performance category, you know, for the cooktop, you know, for the cooked surfaces, we pick gas, but for the ovens, we really put a check mark on the electric, okay? So that covers performance. The next thing let's talk about is a huge factor nowadays is the cleanability. So, you know, cleaning these are, you know, everything else. So in this category, you know, you got to pick up the grates. We got to take this off to clean. We got to take this off as well to clean. You know, that's three or four touches on each burner. You know, we got to you got to balance these grates out. And here is your igniter. This is the toughest part. I mean, if this is ever clogged and things like that, this burner will not ignite and, you know, it could be a fault. So it could emit gas. It could be a safety issue. So there's a lot more safety issues that you find with gas than you do find with electric. Electric, you know, smooth top. This is etched glass. You know, Windex with white vinegar, things like that will clean this too. But on the other hand, there is the factor of you, you know, putting down a plastic spoon or something like that on a hot surface that might melt to it. So you got to think about that too. But overall in the safety category, you know, electric is always going to edge out gas. Okay. And the last category is safety. I know I touched on a few pieces before, but let's go over, you know, it's the gas hookup is the safety, making sure we're using the right connection, make sure it's tight in the back. Also, you know, let's talk about the igniter again. You know, if the igniter's not working, things like that, it could emit some odor, it could spark up, it could turn into a possible fire or possible hazard. So I mean, there is a lot of factors in the gas, in the safety world that could kind of go wrong, especially, you know, in your oven, if you don't clean your oven, if you get something dropped down in the opening of the back of the oven, things like that is the truth. So if we go to the safety of electric, you know, the only thing we're really worried about here is, you know, the hot surface because it's smooth to the touch. You could, you know, accidentally put your hand on there or put a plastic spoon on there and kind of get some melting on there. Even when the electric surface is off, you know, you might not see that unless it has, you know, hot or an indicator on there. So it is, you know, the only thing, maybe your hand or something of that sort, but for safety, for installation, for all the hookups there, it is a nice, easier, safer bet. So to even these out here, you know, the electric is gonna win in the categories overall for, you know, safety, for performance on things and easeability. So thank you so much. Comparing these two outright, hope this helps you out determine whether electric or gas is better for you.